Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do a short video which is a little bit different than most of my videos. Uh, today's video will be a short tour of my home. Um, as some of you long-time viewers may know, my living room has changed a little bit, a little bit um, from my first video, so I thought why not do a new video on this. Um, I will uh, talk a little bit about the room and um, what kind of um, tech I have in my house. Um, so let's begin with, yeah, in my opinion, the centerpiece of, uh, of the living room, which is television. In front of me, I have a 65 inch C7 uh, OLED television. Um, I've had it for quite some while now and um, I used to have a 55 inch before this but I actually uh, thought that um, the 55 inch was too small to actually have this kind of movie like experience which you have in the cinema. Um, I don't sit very far away from my, uh, from my television so um, there is um, pretty much a lot of immersion when watching movies, especially from a short distance like this. And aside from that, um, the OLED panel has uh, a fantastic quality. So uh, watching especially 4K HDR movies is a huge joy on this television. Um, accompanied by this uh, TV is a sound system, uh, which is uh, a Sonos 5.1 setup. Uh, which compromises of the play bar, uh, a sono subwoofer, and two surrounds, which are pointed at uh, the main seating position. Um, together, they're yeah, they're five point one system, and they work wirelessly. And as you may have seen in my previous videos, um, they work pretty nice, and the quality is uh, decent. Um, obviously, they probably won't be as good as a dedicated sound system from Klipsch or some other brands um, but I enjoy it and it's very simple to use. To watch uh, 4K HDR content I have an Apple 4K TV um, all the way in the bottom of my uh, TV setup which you can see there in the back and I use it to uh, stream 4K HDR content straight to my television. Um, I have explained my reasoning for uh, ditching my 4K Blu-ray player in a previous video. You can watch that one if you like. But the main reason was uh, simplicity and the high prices of 4K Blu-rays. Um, going further into the room, yeah, um, there's mostly some decoration uh, here and there. And I try to uh, make the house as nice as I could. Um, and other tech in the room includes uh, U-lights. I have Philip U uh, light bulbs all around my house, which uh, enables me to uh, turn off all the lights when watching movies with a simple click on the button. And aside from that, I can also use them to um, actually use different light switches around the house instead of just the built-in ones, uh, using the U-Light uh, lightning button and the U-Light uh, tap. So I can simply decide where I put my light switches. Um, in the other room, yeah, I have a dual stereo uh, Sonos Play 5 setup which is um, an excellent stereo pair in my opinion. It's quite expensive obviously, but um, I do enjoy it uh, a lot. And it's um, it's amazing for music listening. Um, I'm uh, the type of person who listens to a lot of music casually. So um, I will simply listen to music when I'm uh, working on my laptop, for example, and the system will simply keep playing. Um, it's it's an amazing system and uh, yeah, just like all the other Sonos components, it's quite expensive and for the price you might find something which work which has better sound quality. But um, just the simplicity of use and um, the fact that it's always uh, on instead of having to put it on and off every time is a huge uh, huge advantage to me and actually makes me uh, listen to music a lot more. Um, yeah, around the room there's not that much to see. I have a small balcony, uh, <laughs> which is, it's neat for summer, but in summer there's insects in, and in the winter it's too cold, so yeah, I'm never really outside. 
Um, for the house, yeah, like I said before, I have this um, mostly decoration piece here. Uh, and in the kitchen, we have our last bit of tech, which is on the left, a soda stream, and on the right, a Sonos One speaker. Um, I think the Sonos One speaker is, it's a great speaker. Unfortunately, I don't have a voice activation uh, yet in this country, so I cannot actually give it commands, but uh, just to future-proof myself a little bit, I decided to invest in the Sonos One. Um, all in all, it sounds great. It sounds pretty much exactly the same as the Sonos uh, Play 1. So um, there's not that much difference between a Play 1 and a Sonos 1, actually. And yeah, to conclude my tour, I have a small table, <laughs> a small pool table. It mostly serves as decoration, obviously, uh, but it's, it's a very nice table, in my opinion. And I really like this. So that concludes my tour of my house. Um, yeah, I never really did a video like this, so um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, please stay tuned for the next videos and goodbye.